Lamborghini's ferocious Aventador supercar becomes a bit more so for 2017 with a comprehensive update that, in keeping with Lombo tradition, brings an S designation. Along with a refreshed exterior, the big news is an upgrade to Lamborghini's new four-wheel steering system, first installed on the special edition Centenario, and more power for its screaming V12 engine. The new Aventador's beating heart retains its 6.5-liter displacement, but, thanks to more aggressive valve timing and intake tuning, now puts out an extra 39 horsepower for a total of 730. That means Lamborghini's flagship 12-cylinder monster finally produces more power than Dodge's 707 horsepower Hellcat V8, which seems like an automotive wrong that needed writing. To be fair, the outgoing, limited run Aventador SV packed 740 horses. The Aventador S also benefits from a slightly higher, 8,500 RPM redline, all the better to experience the aural splendor of the sonorous Italian V12. The 7-speed automated manual transmission and all-wheel drive system carry over. The new 4-wheel steering system, which we sampled in an Aventador SV prototype we drove at the Nürburgring, replaces conventional tow control links with two separate actuators capable of changing the rear wheel steer angle in 5 milliseconds. As with most other systems of its kind, at low speeds the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction from the fronts for tighter turning. At higher speeds, the rear wheels turn in phase with the fronts to improve stability. The car's suspension is retuned, and the Aventador S also benefits from revised programming for the stability control and the drive modes. The Strata, Sport, and Casa modes carry over, but an Eco Drive mode, yes, really, is new and allows the driver to further customize the different stability control, steering, and suspension settings. The standard Pirelli P0 tires also are new for the S and are designed around the four-wheel steering system. Also included on all Aventador S models are carbon ceramic brake rotors. We didn't think it was possible for the Aventador to look any more menacing than it already did, but the S model's styling updates achieved that feat. The front end features two new air ducts and a larger front splitter, while the rear has a new black diffuser and revised taillights. Lamborghini says that these changes result in a better aerodynamic profile with improved downforce at speed when the movable rear wing is in position. A bit less hardcore are updates to the Aventador's interior, which now includes Apple CarPlay for its central touchscreen, hey, supercar drivers have smartphones, too, and an optional telemetry system that records lap times and track performance. The price for this 217 miles per hour, high revving Italian beast? A cool $424,845, or about $18,000 more than last year's Aventador LP700-4 Coupe. The equivalent of a compact hatchback may be a drop in the pool for those who can afford the extra power and agility of the S model, along with the knowledge that you own the latest and greatest version of Lamborghini's flagship vehicle. The lucky few with the means can take delivery of their new Aventador S starting next spring, 